Okay, as you can see, um, I'm back at my base. I had to retrace my steps, it turns out, because I actually wasn't recording while I had the F3 menu open. So, that was fun, but I'm back here now, which is wonderful. As you can see, I've dyed all my sheep all different colours, so that I should get a variety of wool. And I've got six stacks of dirt, hopefully that's enough to start terraforming up here ready for my house and I'll be back in a second when I have built the base for it and here we go we've got a nice 20 by 20 area this should be big enough for a house yeah this definitely feels big enough so all we need to do is get some spruce grown but I want to keep all these trees because it looks nice and scenic so I've got some saplings planted down there ready to grow and I've got some spruce in my inventory here which I'm going to use to make a start on building the house the one thing I don't know is how am I going to get up and down ladders don't look too good I want to do a staircase and I'm thinking maybe some sort of spiral staircase but like a big spiral staircase wondering that what that would look like. I think I might just design that on the creative server. Oh, and you spawn in water. I'm wondering if this is the same seed or not. Oh, we've got some interesting uh, position markers. No, it's not. So oh, it could be the same seed. There's a lot of jungle around. Not that it really matters what the seed is. What I'm going to do is start designing a spiral staircase and then I'll come back when I've come up with something. So I've come up with a design which I quite like, just need to work out how wide it is. So there's two blocks here, three blocks in the middle, two blocks there, that's seven, eight, nine. Uh, so this is a nine by nine. So I just need a... It doesn't look as wide. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. What have I done? Looks like I've done this bit wrong. So, I'll just sort that out as a practice and then I'll see how much of it I can get done on the survival. So the first thing I've noticed doing this is that I'm going to have to do a lot of mining of the corner of this mountain to fit in my spiral staircase. But I'd rather it be near my... I feel like if I fit it in the side of the mountain it will look a lot better than just offsetting it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have some fun breaking one of these giant trees because the good thing about the 2x2s is that you can sort of make them into a staircase type thing which means you can actually get up them I wonder how many logs we get from this eighty nine that's decent eighty nine logs okay I've just finished the staircase and look at this now I have to admit I <laughs> nearly had a nervous breakdown while designing this thing oh I just need one more slab just right there because as you can see it's not straightforward stairs there's a system of slabs and uh, stairs in order to make it look better uh, that, they, them fences don't look quite right don't worry, I'll, I'll fix the fences, um, and that's going up it. Uh, but yeah, it's not just stairs and blocks, it's slabs, and it's complicated. And not only that, because I want this on exactly this level, I had to build it from the top down. And building stairs from the top down is harder than building them from the bottom up. So, <laughs> that was quite an interesting experience. But if we go from a distance, I don't think it looks half bad. Um, the only problem I have is it sort of blends in with the dirt background. So, don't really know what, what to do about that. I kind of like the way it fits with the landscape though. So I think in order to highlight it, 
the best thing to do is probably just to hang uh, lanterns off the fences. I think that's probably for the best. But other than that, I'm very happy with what I've got here. I've got a staircase that goes all the way up to a flat area of grass because I haven't built my house yet. But <laughs> it's done. It's done. And that's that's nice. Yes, there we go. More diamonds. Just to make sure we're safe. That's five. Uh, so, yep, that's enough to get a table. And what not? Uh, so, I'm just not sure. Should I go back and try and get fortune? No, I think I'll press ahead and try and get some more diamond. Ah, redstone. We need some of that as well. We need quartz too, so we're going to have to go to the nether soon, which will mean getting an obsidian so we can actually make ourselves a portal. The one problem I have with that is, obviously I'm going to have to get mine to the nether hub somehow. So I don't know if I should just use the materials they already have to connect my portal to the nether hub, or whether... I should just make like a little tunnel off to the side for my... I think I'll do that anyway. I'll just do that at first. Just make a little cobblestone tunnel out of the side of somewhere just for my portal. And I'll get onto that in a minute. But for the time being, I'm just looking for more diamonds. And I'm ignoring every other ore that I come across, really. Because I've got plenty of stuff. Just want more diamonds, really. I've been playing on the server for quite a while now and I've been focusing as you've seen on the design of my house like the staircase which I do like a lot but we now need more raw materials and I'll come back when I have more what I've found I've just come across look magma blocks this is this is an ocean I've hit an ocean which is not good news for mining, but maybe we can just go back the way we came, but sort of parallel. There we go. More diamonds. Oh, it looks like an eight vein as well. Yep, it was an eight vein. Let's go. Just collecting lava from this lava pool. In case you're wondering why I'm going to all this trouble and collecting it in buckets, it's because I might want to keep that lava there, because you never know when you might need some lava. And if you're wondering why I'm not getting obsidian for my enchanting table from the mine, it's because I've been dive bombed by creepers. They, <laughs> they fall directly on top of you and explode, <laughs> which is. Hilarious, but you don't really want it happening over and over again. And I'm also going to just make sure that I don't let the water run down the side of the hill, because <laughs> that will turn all that into obsidian. Turtle eggs. I bred some turtles earlier and they've started laying eggs. I'm hoping if I just keep feeding turtles around the island, eventually we'll have a large turtle population. So I don't think anything attacks them, at least not while they're grown up. Enchanting table. There we go. That leaves us with 12 diamonds. What should we make with them? Let's think. So that pickaxe has run out. So first thing we want is new pickaxe, sword, and I guess leggings for protection. Yes, we've got enchanted gear now. It's all like 
protection one and efficiency one, but it's shiny, and nobody can tell that it's low level. It's just shiny. Come on, it looks better, doesn't it? So I've now finished work on the house. Well, I say finished. I haven't finished. There's just the slight problem of this corner to be filled with spruce and then obviously I've got to fill up the roof with planks for the first story and then there's the second story. Uh, the other thing I want to do is fill underneath here as a sort of support structure with mossy cobblestone. Sorry, mossy stone bricks. That should look nice. I think that down here right here is the perfect area for a nether portal because it's just sort of hidden under the stairs and so I'll think of moving the portal around there and making a decorative looking portal obviously we need to do some more mining in the next episode so we can get full diamond armor and perhaps most importantly I don't know why I just said that <laughs> it's not the most important but it's certainly important to get a cow and chicken farm because we're gonna need some feathers so we can make loads of arrows and we're gonna need some leather for our enchanting room and so that we can have a nice properly labeled storage system too but I think it looks good especially now it's night time if I just go back a little bit I we go towards it even it doesn't look half bad does it Although you can't really see the house from here. But yeah, as as the night starts to fall, the lanterns really do look good. And I think the vines make it as well. I quite like what we've got going so far. But uh, with that, I'm going to say goodbye. And thank you for joining me for this episode.